the hardest part about this chicken cacciatore recipe is not taking a spoon and eating all of that sauce and chicken before you get your noodles cooked. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dish this up. Today we're going to be making a crock pot version of chicken cacciatore. I've already got my crock pot turned on high just to get it warm. I'm going to start out by using about two pounds of chicken. Since this recipe calls for lemon pepper, I bought chicken that is already seasoned with lemon pepper just to make it easier. We're going to place this straight into the crock pot. There are multiple versions of chicken cacciatore online. I've had this recipe for about 20 years and it is literally just on a piece of paper given to me by a friend out in California many years ago. I liked it so much, I always made sure I saved it wherever I went. Okay, we've got our chicken, which has been seasoned with lemon pepper in the pan. I've diced one small onion. one small green bell pepper, the recipe calls for one teaspoon of dried basil or oregano. I'm going to be using my favorite Italian herb grinder which has both basil and oregano. And I'm just going to sprinkle in about one teaspoon. This is my all to, or all my go-to seasoning when I use it for pastas or when I want flavor on chicken breast, I use this Italian grinder. There's about one teaspoon. Add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Two cloves of minced garlic. I use the prepared garlic. Two cloves is the same thing as two teaspoons. One quarter cup of rosé wine. I just bought some little bottles of white Zinfandel. I had to look up on the internet and white Zinfandel is considered a rosé. I'm pretty sure I'll be adding more of this later. <laughs> One tablespoon of sugar. And one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I bought the basil, garlic, and oregano version. And just to rinse out that can, wouldn't hurt to add a little bit more wine. A 
lid on. We're gonna cook this on low for five to six hours. So I have the power set for six hours. Once this starts cooking, I will open it and stir it. When this is stirred and cooked fully, we're going to add one cup of fresh mushrooms and serve it over pasta. So we'll be back in five hours. Okay, we have a little over four hours gone. was hot and it it's definitely done look at that wonderful sauce Give it a small taste. Oh my. That is fabulous. We're going to add mushrooms now. about one full container of sliced mushrooms. For the last 10 to 15 minutes of cooking time. So I wanna get those stirred down into that sauce. And bring that chicken up, look at that chicken. I'm gonna shred it in the end anyway. You can put this over mashed potatoes or pasta. I've had it both ways. I've had it over rice. Look at that. This chicken is just shredding on its own. So those mushrooms are down in the juice. It's still on the temperature of high and I'll come back in about 10 minutes. Pasta just went into the heavily salted water. I don't use oil, so I'm just going to stir it around to keep it from sticking. minutes. The hardest part about this chicken cacciatore recipe is not taking a spoon and eating all of that sauce and chicken before you get your noodles cooked. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dish this up. I've made some pasta. I mean, I could do that and let all you the all the YouTubers know that's all we're going to eat, but I'd be lying. That's probably still a lie. 
that'll be my plate then. All right. Look at that. Dwight wanted as much of a whole chicken piece as he could get. Just a chunk of chicken. That's good. Plain chicken. A little sauce. A couple mushrooms. And then I'll be set. That's good right there. I'm going to do a sample. Well, I've already sampled the, I've already sampled the chicken. I accidentally stopped the video and Dwight was saying that he's already sampled it. I've sampled the chicken, I've sampled the sauce. And we all know what pasta tastes like. But this is the first sample of everything together on the pasta. Thumbs up. I would show myself sampling it, but you would probably see my eyes flutter and I might start doing a jiggly dance. This is so good, it's so flavorful. It's very easy. I will post the recipe. I've liked it so much for all these years that I actually laminated it. <laughs> I've always made sure that I carried it with me anytime I've ever moved. So maybe next time we'll do what's on the other side. Chicken Cacciatore. Thanks for following us on our page. Second helpings? Yeah. I told you it was good. I can't believe it. But we had too much spaghetti. We had to eat some more than that, so. We had too much spaghetti, so you needed to taste the sauce? Mm-hmm. It's not gonna catch me having second helpings. One helping is enough for me. Is that a bird out the window? Yeah, we got birds all the time. 